CS183S Lecture 1. The way to start this hashtag, this class that's an extrapolation, is to first initially sell something that you did not code. Let me repeat that. You don't want to you want to sell something that you did not make or code. The reason for that is if you face rejection, which invariably you will, you won't actually feel bad about it because you're not even taking it personally because you're not getting rejected on something that you made. You're getting rejected on something someone else made. So that's how you practice and get initially started in doing sales and promotion work as a CS major, a computer science major. CS183S is a hashtag that's an extrapolation of what other CS183 classes hinted at but didn't explain. It's like when a VC is like, oh, you should uh, do things that don't scale. But then that's five words of advice, which spiders off into literally 650 micro details. So, for example, uh, I'll give examples. For example, uh, lecture five, CS 183B is in boy. Peter Thiel says and mentions all sorts of stuff about sales and monopoly doesn't expand. This is what the expansion of that is, CS 183S. Note, this is not a class that you're gonna be getting credit for. I'm not gonna be handing out grades, even though there is a bell curve. And what I mean by that is CS 183S is not a credited class in Palo Alto in the zip code 94305. What it is, is it's an extrapolation of things that get mentioned, which is, oh, you should do things that don't scale, or, oh, you should go and focus on sales and not marketing. But the expansion of that advice hasn't been expanded. You know what may never get expanded upon? So I have a history of extrapolating, and another example is Cross the Chasm. It's a legendary, awesome, required book, Cross the Chasm, and my concept that's a sequel is Cross the Chasm from the right. Right now, the most advanced startup strategy is sell it first and then code it. Let me repeat, sell it first and then code it. I don't love that. Uh, Paul Bukait recommended that, and so does Eric Ries with his minimum viable product. They're both geniuses, don't get me wrong, but I think that there's a step before sell it first and then code it. And that is sell something that someone else made where you're advocating it and you're selling something that somebody else coded first. That way you get used to your sales skills and you get used to promoting something that someone else did and then later on altering it ever so slightly. So sell something that you initially did not code. There's a Stanford Entrepreneur Week lecture about sales and selling that would be perfect for CS majors. It took place uh, February 26, 2013. I know, creepy, right? Lisa Falzone, grab a pen, write this down. Lisa, traditional Lisa Falzone, F is in Frank, A-L-Z-O-N-E, Lisa Falzone. She actually has a couple of videos, which I loaded up at bit.ly, B-I-T dot L-Y slash L Falzone 710. Capital L is in Lisa, capital F, no space, foul zone, 710. She outlines a bunch of little baby business, baby sales steps to take. And that is video five. Here's your homework should you choose to uh, practice selling, is you wanna just generate one lead for Revel Systems. They do POS, you can like them on Facebook or just study some of the basics. and. Just do a verbal lead where you're at a POS, a point of sale, and you're buying something and they don't have a Revel, you can just generate and sell them and promote them on one lead. And just having the wherewithal to explain in the so simplest of ways. Currently you have this. This is a thing that's slightly more innovative. These are the two people that are near you that are currently using Revel systems. So just generate one lead and sell. You're not gonna get paid for it, but it's invaluable experience. I know lecture one, CS183S, starts off with a huge bang because it actually requires you to practice selling something that you don't own, selling something that you didn't code. And the problem that you're solving is something that you'll meet later on should you even attempt entrepreneurship. You wanna solve some of these problems now. And that problem that you're solving is a huge problem. It's called startup death spiral write that down startup 
death spiral. Stephen Blank, Professor Stephen Blank, Professor Blank, wrote about these in a sequential events uh, that lead up to a startup death spiral. Kills 80% of startups or more. If you're a CS major and you learn how to sell, you should never die. If you're a CS major and you're tolerating econ major death stats, uh, no, you shouldn't. So there is no part four. Professor Blank taught engineering 145 and engineering 245 uh, lean springboard. There is no part four. There is no solution right now to startup death spiral. Welcome to my world, right? That's what CS183S solves. It's not even a real class. It's just an extrapolated hashtag on where he left off. CS183B, uh, there are supposed to be sales docs and the YC president who was teaching CS183B, Sam, he gives you one sales doc and he gives it to you two or three weeks after sales class ended, sales class, CS183B class ended, well, there are 18 docs on venture capital. There's only one doc on sales. That's what CS183S solves. There are two lectures, CS183B Lecture 3, where Paul Graham lectures on do things that don't scale, hints at sales, but doesn't explain sales. Same thing with uh, a Peter Thiel lecture, Lecture 5 of CS183B and his entire CS183 series. Hints at sales and hints at the sweet spot of his upper right-hand quadrant of Things that don't require selling, a.k.a. they sell themselves, along with a strong sales effort. But he doesn't exactly put in exactly what he means for a strong sales effort. That's what CS183S is meant to do, is to solve all these dangling participle, dangling lectures on sales. What drove me nuts as a kid was when really smart people would explain things super fast, and I wouldn't get it. And I seem like I would get it because I'm the Chinese kid who sits in the front row who's a foot taller than everybody else. So I would jack my hand up and say, can you repeat that? Or what do you mean by that? It goes right into entrepreneurship at this point. What Altair Basic is this the Microsoft of? What Altair Basic is this the Microsoft of? There's a bunch of politically incorrect things to try to get uh, founders technical founders, even non-technical founders to do. But it's there's a bunch of politically incorrect things that are counterintuitive that I've listed on down below. And they've, they're pictures, they're graphs, there's links.